Mom finally understands Dimple. We finally get to see that Dimple just needed a friend all along. Dimple going full Super Saiyan in this episode, and even the tragedy at the end. Let's rewind to the beginning. The beginning of the episode starts us off by reminding that Mob hit 100%. Mob remembers everyone's opinions about his shirt, and their opinions on his perceived newfound popularity, with the different yet honest opinions from each. I gotta be honest though, the shirt was definitely mid, I'm not gonna lie. But hey, do you guys like my shirt? But honestly, I don't know how he decided to wear it. But Mob is a goat for trying to pull it off, I guess. The energy from his power creates a tree that shrinks back into him. That description reminds you of something else. I'm talking about a penis. <laughs> Dimple is so confused on what is happening, he proceeds to have an inner monologue for some time to try to figure things out. He's so shook, he doesn't even know what to do. Bro is so terrified by Mob, even though Mob is doing nothing. It turns out, though, that Mob went 100%. And trust, this time, I didn't expect this at all. Like, you would think he would be pissed, but actually he realized that he could believe in Dimple because he gave him an honest opinion on his shirt. And we all need a friend like that. If you're wearing a dumb shirt like this, you gotta have those friends that are like, man, that's just a bad shirt. Not like mine, right guys? So this is extremely relatable and makes you connect with Mob even more. Mob took away his own power so he could talk to Dimple. Because powers and fighting honestly just get in the way of just truly talking to a friend. And if you break this down in real life, it's a great lesson that can be learned. Sometimes you just need to talk to people. Mob realizes that Dimple isn't really dangerous and Dimple just got carried away. Mob himself also got carried away with thinking that he was popular in the previous episode. So he was able to understand Dimple now that he realizes how Dimple felt. Mob wouldn't give him the time of day. The first time that he talked to Dimple, he just shrugged him off. And if he didn't shrug him off, none of this would have actually happened. So he apologizes to Dimple, which is pretty great development from Mob. He honestly becomes a better character each episode, which I love the progression of Mob, like becoming an adult or like a man in the sense, like understanding what it means to be responsible for your actions. Like, it turns out that Dimple only wanted a friend. He wanted to become a god and have followers because he wanted people to accept him. And Mob did that when he thought no one would on their own. But since Dimple thought he wanted more, he never gave into the fact and kept chasing that goal. Until now, when Mob finally understood what Dimple really wanted. And what's great about it is that Dimple finally admits it to himself. Honestly, this is a great and emotional episode because you guys know these guys started out as enemies. He's like, man, I'm gonna get back at Mob for basically ruining my cult because basically he had friends there and everybody loved him. But over time, Dimple was kind of broken down his character after he found actually true friends. And he's had a battle and conflict over time. And I think that is finally where we're at now is he's at a breaking point. And the character development for Dimple is amazing. But this whole time, I think we all thought that Dimple wanted to just use Mob. And even he thought he did himself. But Mob was truly able to see what it really was. Another lesson to take away from this episode is that sometimes we just need someone. Somebody who cares for us. Life isn't all about money and fame and achievement or whatever you actually want to accomplish. What you really cherished are loved ones and friends who, who cherish you. And that's what really everyone's after which makes people connect to the show even more. After Dimple picks up Mob to carry him home, Mob tells him not to come to his house, at least until he gets back to normal. And I completely understand this because Dimple does look goofy as hell, but Dimple also agrees. So it's whatever, I guess. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Boom, the Psycho Helmet clone made from the trees appear. It seems as though the tree has gained consciousness from all the absorbed energy, just when we thought they were in the clear too. It seems as though his getting out of the tree will be a challenge for Dimple, especially with Mob because the clones want to take Mob. Dimple decides to fight them, and it seems like there's an infinite amount of clones, but Dimple begins boxing all of them. One after another, he destroys them. They seem to be sucking up his energy though. Pause, pause, I said pause. I said pause. Then Dimple flies out of a tree with many clones latched onto him and continues to fight up there as well. Dimple seems to have destroyed all of them with a godly beam, but then they all come at him from behind and fuck him in the, I'm just kidding. Sorry. It turns out there's way more than we thought, but Dimple is determined to win this for his friends and screams out a battle cry and continues to fight even though he has lost a lot of energy. Then when taking a rest, Dimple gets hit out of nowhere again. The clones are getting more and more powerful because they have absorbed Dimple's power and begin to unleash a barrage of hits onto Dimple. After an extreme amount of energy blasts fired at Dimple, Dimple still stands. He yells out another battle cry after being surrounded by an insane amount of clones. And I mean an insane amount. We then cut back to Dimple in front of Mob. It appears the fight is over and Dimple won. Or so we think. Dimple is amazed by Mob being able to not get carried away with his powers. 
And truly, this is amazing because I feel like the majority of people would abuse it to the max, but Mob never does unless he absolutely has to. Dimple then uses his brainwashing powers to command Mob to stand and walk away. He says these last commands to Mob. And we realize how injured Dimple truly is. And as the sad music starts to play, Mob begins to walk out of the tree, waving back at Dimple. I think we all know what's about to happen here. We see the eyes of a huge clone, or basically the tree's consciousness, staring at Dimple again. It is clear what will happen at this point. Honestly, this is sad. And I know a lot of you guys got choked up like me. Pause. Then, then Dimple in his last thoughts tells Mob to take care. Mob continues to walk and we hear the sounds of a battle ensuing behind him. Then Dimple is grabbed by the tree and eaten. But he is able to use his last strength basically to blow up inside the tree's consciousness and his energy begins to destroy it. Mob tells everyone to go home, but unaware of what is going on. Dimple's energy begins to float the tree away into space and sacrifice himself to save the people and especially to help his friend, Mob. And in his last moments, he gives himself up so that Mob will be happy. Dimple was truly a kind-hearted being and a true friend of Mob until the end. As Mob goes and lays down in the bed after hearing the news, he can't remember what happened. Dimple erased all of his memories. But Mob remembers that Dimple was the one who sacrificed himself for him. And as he cries for his friend, he thanks Dimple for what he has done. And I think we can all feel Mob's sadness in this moment. And then the episode ends. This was a great episode. I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of lessons in this episode and a lot of tear jerkers as well. The character development for Mob obviously is amazing. But the way that they use Dimple from being a bad guy to somebody who was trying to plot against everybody and yada, yada, yada. Putting on a front, really, but really being a good guy. Shows a lot of development that they're doing writing this story. So I am very excited to see where this story goes. Either way, if you guys want to, there's plenty of room in the dojo. So if you guys want to join, hit the subscribe button below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. We got more recaps coming every week. So definitely be ready for that. It's Anime Dojo and we're out.